What's up, degenerates? Mad Morrigan here for Cold Bear Sports. Right, lads, feeling a bit better today. Done the COVID test. Don't have COVID. Obviously, just have a dose of some kind. But anyway, Saturday, an interesting day. We have the Isle of Chase tomorrow. We have a couple of other good meetings as well. Right, um, three feed tomorrow. And uh, let's hope we can smash a good fucking Saturday. Uh, really, uh, things... We're due, with, like, it's been a good while since we've had a big Saturday. Right, uh, tomorrow's show, an interesting uh, selection tomorrow, is a horse in the either chase. Now, however, he is unexposed, but he is also very raw, and he still is learning on the job, so could work again him in a competitive race like this. Anyway, lads, if you don't mind, smash that like on the videos, subscribe to the YouTube. I also have a couple of horses i'm interested in tomorrow for the patreon service one is a max bet it won't be a massive price but i expect it to be big good value at the price and win and then there's another horse i'm interested in like I'll, I'll, I'll have a look at it tonight and later but we have uh, you know uh, at least one strong bet tomorrow possibly two right uh so the the 143 at chepstow Lady of the Night. I'm going to go a pint win on this. Really liked her the last day. I had a good bet in her the last day. Only we bumped into one uh, in a mare who went out and won again since. She jumped like a buck. She's well bred for fences. And I expect her to run a solid race. However, the the, 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 the market is on to her. And she's 9-4. to four. The last day we were on her at 11-2 to two or 6-1. to one. We're just unlucky to bump into one that was... Uh, you know that I went on and won again, but the way this one jumped and the way she, you know, she took to it first time, I expect improvement. She has to improve. She's got up a few pounds, but Lady of the Night is bred for the game. Um, if she wasn't, if the market wasn't so on her, I would be a lot stronger on her. But the market kind of has her at the, in the right spot. Like if she was a four to one, seven to two shot, she'd be a a very strong bet. However, she's not. So she's 9-4. to four. A pint win. Lady of the night. Definitely an improver for fences. Uh, jockey and yard going well. In the 3.15 at Newcastle. History of fashion. Definitely an interesting runner. I had a few quid on him earlier in the last week. At big enough prices. But I didn't know if he was going to run. I was worried about the ground. Uh, however the ground is now drying out so it looks like he's going to run he is a six around a six to one shot tomorrow however he does jump a little bit to his right he is still unfurnished as a chaser and he'll have to jump a lot better than he jumped the last day but i'm going to go a pint each way that he's handicapped to win a race like this does he have the know-how and experience probably not but if he can get into an okay rhythm and the jockey doesn't ask him too many questions. Just lets him find his way. Because if he jumped the way he jumped in down Royal the last day. He won't win it. Uh, and he falls out to his right a small bit. But I think uh, just take, he's very well handicapped. So if they just take their time. He's a horse of potential as a staying chaser. However I wouldn't be surprised either. If this race was a step uh too soon kind of you know like he's definitely got massive potential as a staying chaser but he's still very unfurnished and inexperienced could catch him out tomorrow with the wrong ride he just needs a, a patient patient ride give him confidence and then creep into the race because he's handicapped he'll come into the race no problem off his mark right then we're going to go a pint each way see the sunset in the 420 at Linkfield. Now this is a very interesting race. You've got all for newcomer. You don't know how good it is. Whatever. You know what I mean. Cost fucking nearly half a million. Uh, this, But this Sea the Sunset. Uh, is well bred itself. By Sea the Moon. Has a nice pedigree. Steps up and trip. Was well backed on debut. But ran no race. Very disappointing. Uh, but I think at 5 to 1 tomorrow. I, I go a point each way. That. You could see an improved performance. Sean Levy in the saddle as well. See the sunset. 420 a pint each way at Linkfield. History of fashion a pint each way. 6 to 1 uh, in the Isle of Chase. And Lady of the Night a pint win in Chepstow. 
Now, I wouldn't put anyone off doing a little each way. Of tra we would do a pint each way of treble as well. So, see the sunset, history of fashion, lady of the night. Uh, we'll go a pint each way of treble. Right, lads. Hopefully tomorrow, no selection on the Patreon service today. A little disappointing on YouTube today. But we're due a good day. We're due a good Saturday. Let's hope these three can do it. Like I said, history of fashion. Definitely a stayer on the up. Could be handicapped to win. However, I wouldn't be surprised uh, if he did a, you know, was a little inexperienced and made it a lot harder for himself. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Lady of the Night's going to run a big race. See the sunset will be will run a race. Uh, Barrett's learned a lot from debut. So yeah, point win. Lady of the night, pint each way, history of fashion. See the sunset, pint each way, and a pint each way, treble. Best of luck. Take care. God bless and bet safe.